Hello, everyone. Please join us. Let's finish this. <laughs> finish it. Um, this is the closing session, the plenary. We're here to put a full stop on <laughs> to this, this conference that's, that's been in planning for uh, years, as Shani says. Um, I did not mention that we were supposed to organize this conference in October 2020. Uh, we all know what happened, so that's the main reason why it was postponed. And we waited and waited to find a good and safe time and place to organize this. So I'm really glad that we <laughs> did this. So our four plus year dream has finally come true. And uh, hopefully this will be one in many uh, of future EduWiki conferences that will be held around the world. And I, I'm, I'm just glad that we kicked it off, just like Wikimedia Distributed kicked, kicked off CE meeting back in 2012. So um, in a way, I, I like to think that we're sort of um, uh, innovators in, in that field. So um, do, do what you will with that. Um, so thank you again for, for being here, for participating throughout these three days. And um, we'll hear a lot more thank yous. Um, I, I won't go into too many details there. I, I just wanted to announce the uh, current president of Wikimedia Serbia, Miroslav Lotzi, who will give a few words. So, hello everyone, and this is sadly the end of the conference. Um, I truly hope that in the name of Wikimedia Serbia and the organizing team, that you had an amazing time and that you will leave this place with uh, amazing memories, some new friends, better friendships, uh, amazing uh, collaboration and uh, super ideas for some new projects. Uh, I also want to thank you all for being here despite all the challenges that we had. Uh, I am so happy to see that so many people uh, are still attending and that um, just, I am, I'm very, very joyful that I can see you again after such a long period of unfortunate global events. So um, I also have another uh, information. Due to the rainy season that happened in the last two days, uh, we came upon the idea to have uh, one more uh, possible tour that would start at 3.30 if it's not raining. Uh, it, is com it, it is completely voluntary. Uh, it will be a tour around the center of Belgrade, the parts that you did not uh, get to see yesterday. And I will be leading it and then Ivana will join us later throughout the tour. Uh, so anyone who is interested at 3.30, we will meet in the lobby and move towards the center together uh, by bus. It will not be super long walk, it will be mostly parts that uh, you can see, that you can enjoy throughout Belgrade, just so you can have that last touch of, um, of amazing experience of Serbia. And we do look forward to seeing you uh, here back again at some point in the future. So thank you again once more in the name of Wikimedia Serbia. Joao. Hey everyone, so here I am uh, speaking with my head of membership admin of the Wikipedia and Education User Group to ask and to invite you to join the Wikipedia and Education User Group and we have a page and the process is quite straightforward and simple. Basically you apply, you're in, but we only do a one single check. We don't allow people who are globally banned, so it doesn't apply to you, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And you can basically see the list growing uh, di diligently over um, the year. We also invite you, if you're not part of our supporting affiliates, to join the supporting affiliates. This is a little bit different as a procedure, uh, your affiliate needs to write an email to the Wikipedia Education User Group and then uh, we authorize as if you do the edit here automatically then people on the, on the meta Wikimedia will eventually revert because they say this is a protected page. So we need to address uh, this issue in a different uh, 
uh, way, but of course, then you write us and we keep this list also growing. And there is a form that is up that it's basically the procedure to join us in the membership form. And that's it. And you're very welcome to join us, of course, if you haven't done it already. So join us and, uh, and you'll be also, if you are interested, uh, join our newsletter. That's it from my end. Thank you very much. Okay, I would now invite Cornelius and Ben to reflect on the two Future of Wikipedia and Education sessions. Hello, if, if you didn't see me, if you didn't talk to me, like I'm, I'm Cornelius, I'm doing the research for Wiki Education, uh, user group, Wiki Education Foundation, Wiki Education Foundation and Wikipedia and Education for the user group, uh, doing uh, about needs and uh, needs, current needs, needs that are met by, by education program leaders. And I hosted yesterday two sessions and I did a couple of interviews already or last weeks and today and in the coming weeks. And my reflections at the moment are, um, I got more questions than I had answers before <laughs> in the sense that it is, I, I truly appreciate how to, what you shared with me that how diverse the needs are that you have and how diverse the needs are that you will will be having in the future and um, it is i found quite eye-opening in the sense also that i didn't know before what was education and i don't know yet now what education means in this sentence in this context because education is so broad here yeah so for some people is I, I can't even give examples, but like education is a very wide topic here, and it's like, and it's so for me, for me personally, I couldn't define it yet, nor the group that is part of it or not yet part of it. So I'm trying to get um, more into it. And if you li would like to talk to me, if you'd like to, I would like to talk to you, or if you'd like to talk to me, um, let's schedule a call either in the com um, coming weeks or let's meet today to have a conversation about what m needs do you have, what kind of support do you receive already as an affiliate, uh, as an education program leader. Uh, and what not, and how the EduWiki community could help and support you in that. That's what I can share at the moment. I found it, yeah, as I said, I found, I got more and more questions than answers for. <laughs> I don't know. Well, can you build upon that? I don't know. <laughs> it's a very Wikimedia way. Absolutely. Yes, and. Um, uh, no, no, feel free to stay up here because I'll, I'll definitely be gesturing to the work you're doing. Um, so, yeah, thank you for, first of all, thank you for everyone who found a time to join one or more of the workshop sessions. Um, it was a, b a big goal of this conference was to take advantage of all these people being here in the same place at the same time to really start to probe these bigger questions of like, what is the, what is it that binds our work together? What are the gaps in support that are holding us back from achieving our full potential? What are the, you know, how does this fit into the movement strategy and, and the path forward? And so well, I, don't, I don't think we've answered those questions. This is, was a great warm up for a process that will continue and we're still figuring out what that even looks like. So if you would like to, so I really encourage you to reach out to Cornelius uh, in th these last hours of hanging out and saying goodbyes is a good time to book an appointment or have an email exchange to kind of get that booked in the next couple weeks. Um, can be done over Zoom. And this is going to kind of, I think, add up to like the first stage of a kind of a, a pulse check and a, some initial research about what are the needs and gaps that could inform some future collaboration structure like a hub or something like that that can take all of this work to the next level. And I'm here talking about that because we are really trying through this process in supporting it and collaborating very closely on the work, figure out what is the right scope of the role for the foundation to play in supporting and enabling all this work happening in all these contexts and, and how do we better advocate for like the, the, the shared goals. So that's why I'm here and participating in this process. My session today was a lot of fun. Thank you for folks who came out. Um, what we basically did was on our feet, kind of explored, a, uh, looked at a bunch of statements about our te the technological trends affecting us, 
um, the specific uh, challenges facing us in our specific regional educational context, and then thinking about movement support. You know, what, how, are we, how supported are we feeling um, through, through grant making, through other kinds of capacity support, and uh, arranging ourselves on a spectrum between strong agreement and strong disagreement. And you get a kind of a instant little data visualization with human, human bodies to see where we fit on that, and it prompts a lot of good conversation. So it was a really fun exercise to kind of, usually an exercise you actually do at the beginning of an event to get to know each other. So we did it at the end to kind of energize the continued conversation. Like, you know, we got to know each other better, but there's still so much more, many perspectives we didn't realize. So hopefully that reminded us of that. And the other thing it reminded us of is that it really depends on who's in the room. So there were some gaps in participation for totally innocent, normal reasons of prioritizing different presentations. But because we didn't have, for example, anyone from Africa in that session, we were probably getting a very skewed, a non-representative picture on some of these questions. So I think none of us took these as authoritative or definitive <laughs> answers on these questions, but it was sort of warming up the engines of thinking critically about this at movement scale. So thank you for participating in a playful spirit with that. And again, uh, we're figuring out across these groups who all each in their own way play some kind of stewardship and support role in the EduWiki space, the Wiki, an education user group, the Wiki Education Foundation, and the Wikimedia Foundation education team, and really trying to think about at the intersection of all of us, how do we create the most inclusive uh, and expansive process possible that can really get the collective sense of where we're going. Um, so there'll be more on that, I think, in the coming weeks and months. But thank you for getting that started with this event. And I'll just take this last opportunity while I have the mic just to thank Wikimedia Serbia and the user group and all the people who made this event possible. This was outstanding. And I also want to pass the mic to my colleague, Yael, who I think maybe also would like to echo and amplify those thanks. Thanks, Ben. So many thank yous. But yes, I am just so delighted to be here. Thank you. This was my first thematic conference since, since joining the foundation and really wanted to say a huge thank you to the organizing team. I'm looking directly at Liana and Philip right now like, wow, amazing, amazing. Such an amazing conference. I know so many people were involved in the core organizing team. Joao, Susanna, Zico, Selesh, Bukola. You absolutely, am I missing anyone on the core team? Yes. Um, this is an amazing event. Um, to Wikimedia Serbia, Miroslav and Ivana, my God, wow. <laughs> I feel like everywhere I looked, Ivana was there with like, today it was masking tape. Whatever we needed, you were, you were on it. Yes, exactly, yeah. Um, so yeah, huge thank you from the foundation. I know I've organized events in the past as a volunteer, not a Wikimedia volunteer, but I know how much work it takes. I know you barely get to enjoy the conference. So thank you. I hope someone else hosts us next time and you actually get to enjoy. Um, yeah, thank you also. I, I guess the last thing I'll say is education is so core to this movement. I knew that before I came here, but I'm leaving with such a knowing in my, in my belly. Um, I think Bob put it well. I don't know where you are, Bob that the, the status of the Wikimedia education projects is really indicative, or Wikimedia education programs is indicative of the health of our projects. And I, I believe that today more than ever. So thank you. I'll do it from here. Okay, so we are back to um, slides from Aha uh -huh, slides, whoops, and there should still, there should be one, oh dear, and I started it from the end of the presentation, still working out those kinks. Okay, so this is the same as previous closing sessions, only I did not make my slides as pretty as Zico, sorry about that. Uh, he set an impossible standard at the beginning. Um, you can either go to the URL there, the T ahaslides.com slash T2L7C, or you can scan this QR code. Looks like we've got 37 people. There's more of you in the room than that. We'll give it a few more minutes. Who still needs more time? Raise your hand. Okay, a couple people. All these hearts and emojis are, I think, in the way of the QR code, so. <laughs> okay, is everyone good? I will advance to the next one. 
Okay, so you should see on your screen what word describes your experience at the conference. <laughs> I love we're getting uh, words in other languages too. You should feel free to contribute in your own language. Feel free to submit more than one. If, if I got the technology right, which is questionable, you should be able to. Yeah. Does somebody want to tell us what Abadejo means? I think it might just be stuck. I'll give you a few more seconds here. Okay. All right. Thank you, everyone. The next question. What is one learning you'll take home? second page now. Oh, nope. <laughs> that is just the next. I don't know, maybe I tip. There we go. Another few seconds here. Okay. What was your favorite session?
<laughs> it's hard to beat food. I like mine. <laughs> I'm playing for Mises. Some autocorrect in incidents there. Yours. <laughs> okay, another few seconds here. The lobby. The lobby is always a most amazing part of the conference to connect with other people. Okay, and one final question. What word describes the Wikimedia and education community? That's all of us. gotten stuck on family this time. Okay, these are all great words to describe this community. I'll give you another few seconds here and then we'll wrap this up. Okay, thank you all for sharing your thoughts. Philip. Yes, that's me. So we wanted to give you an opportunity to share your thoughts a bit more verbosely, so with a bit more words than something that can be represented in a words cloud. So if anyone has anything to say now, please do. No, no, there's evaluation form, so. <laughs> I will bring the mic to you. Don't be shy. Somebody has to share what they learned or something they're taking back to their community. Something that has made them happy. Something that's made them happy. Or sad. We take anything. But ideally happy. <laughs> ideally happy. Okay. Yeah, so from Canada, I always just engage either with the Canadian or the U.S. Uh, education programs. And from 
from this session, I, I learned that there are so many different programs and different outreach from kindergarten uh, all the way to university, and they have all kinds of different cool tips and tricks, and, I, and it's awesome to see that it's a global community. Agreed. Yeah. Um, thank you all for this incredible session. Actually, we learned so many things in this uh, conference. But actually, the most thing that was so beneficial to me is the dashboard workshop by Ms. Liana and Ms. Uh, Amanda. Absolutely, I'm going to teach the teachers whom I'm, whom I'm working with um, the tips and the tricks that you taught us today. Thank you so much. When we are going to do somewhere in the Turkey uh, and they take uh, the bad results uh, on the, that lessons, we are sometimes very uh, hopeless about the, the, this program. But uh, after the, the, here, the, the same uh, we are uh, looking to the same target to the, so many people here. And then I'm getting, uh, going to again to the very hopeful for the, this program. It's very good. Every, uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, so this is my first international conference in, in Wiki. So I, actually, I just want to I don't want to say anything that what I most like and anything. I just want uh, a big round of applause for Bojan, our rock star, <laughs> because <laughs> because because I had. Because I just lost the hope that I, don't, I will not make it uh, uh, because the visa process is uh, very difficult. But it is because he and organization team that has uh, made it possible. So thank you. Thank you very much. Boyan. Yeah, our hero. <laughs> uh, so for me, I'm, uh, I'm, I lose my words. <laughs> uh, coming back to Morocco is coming back with uh, a picture of a great family. Because uh, in the first time we work just with education team and we, uh, we know just a few person and few program that's happening in the world. But now we are more confident that there is a big family, strong family, and uh, yeah, that gives us more confidence to move on, more motivation, more for perseverance. Uh, so thank you for being here. Thank you for being like that. And uh, um, many thanks for uh, the Serbian uh, community for the welcome and all effort that they made. Thank you for gathering all this family here and hope to receive you uh, in Morocco next time. So yeah, why not? Uh, you are welcome and uh, I am very glad to meet you all and uh, we are here for you also. Our community, are, if there is anything that we can help, don't hesitate. Thank you so much, thank you. Oh, let me just stand here, yes, please. Yes, uh, yeah, Rebecca, Janet, um, thank you so much for this opportunity to share learnings and uh, exciting moment. Actually, I, I was been able to reach here just yesterday. So for me, it's too quick. I see like everything's ending right now. But um, I actually enjoyed um, uh, finding people uh, so loving, kind. I will repeat again, Ivana and uh, Bojan, you know, Bojan, uh, Boyan, please uh, put your hand together for them. Uh,
Yeah, uh, it's, it's, it wasn't really easy um, for us to make it, but I really strived to be here uh, all the way from uh, Rwanda. I uh, traveled eight, eight hours from uh, Kampala to Amsterdam, from Amsterdam to here. So uh, this country is really good. Uh, people were so helpful at the airport. So, yeah, I, I will appreciate that. Another thing, yesterday in the dinner, I had the experience to sit with greater people. I don't even, I didn't know them, but uh, me, uh, Florence, Rosie, uh, Mohammed, <laughs> George, uh, we had a good chat. We had fun. I know, I never knew that you guys, you can. Uh, make like fun so <laughs> yes yeah so um my takeaway from the conference um this panel discussion in the morning about ai i was wondering to know how um underrepresented communities in africa can take this opportunity maybe or can use um, artificial intelligence to improve their education uh, skills uh, considering that language is a problem so um, I've been learning how I, I will be uh, facilitating my team uh, uh, normally we have bigger teams in our countries but um, uh, technical skills and yeah, resources, tools, it's still um, going through. So thank you so much. It was a wonderful uh, one day and a half for me. And <laughs> yeah, thank you. We have time for one more. Hey, can I stay here? Is it okay? Yeah. Um, so it makes me think back to about the movement strategy. And I think what we represent here is the diversity being lived. And I think this is very important because when we bring this to our national realities, this might sometimes bring some challenge. But here it's very tangible. You can touch it. We live the diversity. And in those terms, I think we are all quite privileged that we can be here, we can be meeting. And, and I don't know how to pass this on to our national realities, but I think it's a, it's a homework we have how to how to get this impressions and the feeling we've got here back home because this is something unique and i i know we all come from different diverse uh, backgrounds and different long travels we have to take but still i think for each of us it's a privilege to be part of such a big thing so it's good to mention it and uh, yeah i think the education group is basically like all people who do education are badass, right? So <laughs> I have to say it, sorry. Um, so thank for that, thank for being here, experiencing the diversity, experiencing the ambiguity as well sometimes of different experiences and opinions. I think it's important to, to bring this in. So thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you everyone for sharing your thoughts. Of course, this is not the end. Oh, we'll call it ahead. Okay. A One short extra comment. bonus. <laughs> okay, so mine is bonus, but then um, I want to get all our uh, experiences. Like it shouldn't, it doesn't have to end here. Uh, we want people that we're not able to attend this conference to hear about your experience. We want to feature you in blog posts. We want to feature, we want to also like create a vlog for you to uh, like create a video where you can talk more about your uh, EduWiki conference experience. And so the eWork member uh, team has come up with a Google form. And because we know the time is too short for you to like do a video or like do a recording, we'd like you to please just drop uh, maybe a three minutes video or an audio of your experience on that Google form. So I, I'll be sending the link to the form on the Telegram group and also like send uh, a mail for you to just please help us drop your comments, your, your opinions, your recommendation. We would like to hear from you, we would like to feature in our 
uh, yes, uh, vlog. Thank you. And even podcasts. Thank you, Bukola. And thank you, everyone, for, for sharing these thoughts. As I said, this is not the end. You can share more thoughts um, in the submission form, in the evaluation form. So now we move to the rest of today. Um, so we're just getting done, but there's still more to go in this session. But after that, we encourage you to continue these conversations that we've had in the past several days um, so that you know this goes on and beyond this conference. You can also meet up with potential collaborators for, from, for your education work, um, be it here, be it at your own places or online. Or you can, and or, you can go sightseeing uh, in Belgrade if you have time. Uh, Miki also mentioned that he will be guiding your tour, so um, do look out for that. Daryl will be available here at the hotel from 6 p.m. today um, to 8, 7.30. And those of you who are staying until tomorrow, breakfast tomorrow. And also, um, if you want to go to the airport, and you probably will, uh, we have set up um, charts. Yes, outside, just when you get out of this room, um, so that you can pair up or double pair up for taxis. Um, so you can self-organize. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, so please write your names and you can then coordinate among, among yourselves to order taxis. And now, Annie. Do we have an Annie in the house? Yeah. Yes! Woo. No further introduction, I think. I'll be pretty short, but I think that this conference has been really fun to see like how much joy and diversity there is in the Wikimedia movement. And there's also so much joy that can be found on Wikipedia itself. Um, I mostly just have English examples here, but I'll, I'll send something in the chat. Wow, I feel like these are paparazzi. This makes me feel very fancy. Because I'll send something in the chat so you can send me cool stuff from your language. But. Um, there are a few things on Wikipedia that I think are quite funny. When you do carbon dating, there's a like disambiguation because it's different from incest, which I think is funny. A few years ago, this went viral for being a goofy Wikipedia edit where someone thought it was important to specify which one was the penguin. <laughs> Um, Vienna bread on English Wikipedia has radial motion blur for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> I, th I think it's really funny though, and um, I, I personally, like, I'm not going to put these on Wikipedia, but imagine if every photo on Wikipedia had radial motion blur. I would enjoy that. Um, <laughs> I am going to Wikimania in Singapore, and I'm really excited because I'm finally going to meet the guy that's in the photos on the Wikipedia article for theft. Um, he lives in Thailand. This actually got taken down recently, but it was up for a few years, and it's a little silly, but it really does demonstrate what theft is. <laughs> I got to meet the people in the Wikipedia photos for High Five. Um, they took these in 2008, um, up high, down low, victim misses, too slow, with finger guns, and there's a hyperlink. They're still together. They were just like in an, kind of, they were like sort of dating in these photos. Now they're married and they have kids, and they recreated the photos. Um, what else? Oh, um, in 2003, when people were deciding what logo to do, before they decided on like the puzzle piece globe, one of the one of the submissions was the Wikipede, a little centipede with Groucho glasses. And notice he's made out of encyclopedia books. Anyway, I just think he's kind of cute. Um, oh, Umarel is a beloved Wikipedia article and term for old men who stare at construction sites with their arms behind their backs, <laughs> sometimes offering unwanted advice. <laughs> um, this is the ugliest color in the world. According to a marketing panel in Australia, it's like dark greenish brown. And then this is 
the, oh, it's, see, it doesn't really project well, but it's the average color of the universe. It's like the color of khakis. Um, boops, boops in a, buck, in a bucket. <laughs> that's, that's a term different from abadejo, but another fun fish. My favorite hoax is the Jarito Wens article. Um, on English Wikipedia, this showed up, and um, it didn't cite any sources, but pretty soon there were some books that included this, so then it had sources to cite. And it took 10 years for someone to realize this Jarito Wens, this aboriginal god associated with victory and intelligence, it's not a real thing, and it was probably created by an Australian teenager named Jared Owens. <laughs> So that's the longest hoax in the history of Wikipedia. Okay, I have, two, I have two trivia questions. One's kind of easy and one is harder. Does anyone in the front want to volunteer? Philip, maybe? Right. You're, since you're right here? Okay, okay, so here's a Serbian one for you. Nikola Tesla, he was in love with what animal? I kind of know this one. That's okay, you can, you can say it then. A pigeon. Yeah, that's true. He, he, oh, it kind of got cropped wrong, but it, he said, I loved that pigeon as a man loves a woman, and she loved me. <laughs> so. <laughs> um, okay, and then which of these historic women is trending on English and Spanish Wikipedia? Joan of Arc, Cleopatra, Anne Frank, Ada Lovelace. I'm going to venture a guess with Ada. Ada Lovelace, go, hey, good guess. That's wrong, though. <laughs> it's Cleopatra. Okay, so you're, you're thinking it's because of the Netflix series that sparked a lot of conversations about race, but that's not why it's... Well, it started trending before that. Um, it started trending after Android phones started doing this, and then the traffic went crazy. <laughs> and then it spiked even more with the discussions. I actually but, should have known this. I heard this on your Depths of Wikipedia presentation in your... Yeah, I, I really like talking about this because there's a, there's a website called wikipulse.com that shows you page view trends. And sometimes it's what you would expect, but it's still kind of funny. Like, Jesus gets way more views on Christmas and Easter. And <laughs> Rebecca Black gets more views on Fridays. <laughs> so, so that's all I have. I'll send something in the chat about how to send me fun stuff from your language because I definitely don't want to only feature stuff in English and there's so much to learn. So thank you. Okay, we have already started on thank yous in previous sessions. Um, I'll start thanking Annie as well for uh, graciously volunteering to come in and entertain us for, um, for a few minutes. So I want to go through some thank yous to the folks who have helped make this event possible. First off is our sponsors, the Wikimedia Foundation, Wikimedia Switzerland, Wiki Education, Wiki Movimiento Brazil, Clexicon, Wikimedia Nigeria User Group, and Wikimedia Armenia. Thank you to all of them. Our wonderful hosts at Wikimedia Serbia, and this is inclusive of all of the staff and board who have spent um, untold hours making this happen from a local perspective, but a special thanks as well, specifically to Ivana and Boyan, who have been on so many calls with us. Yes, let's have uh, Ivana and Boyan. I genuinely don't think this conference would have happened without them. Um, so they went above and beyond in being an exceptional host and making everything smooth and functional. And we deeply appreciated that as the user group while we focused on program stuff and making sure we had the right people here. And then they helped us get people here. So thank you so much, Yvonne and Poyan. I want to thank our scholarship committee who evaluated, I think, something like 100 whoops, and their names have just disappeared. 
um, who evaluated something like 160 applications that we had for, I think, something like 55 scholarships that we were able to award. So there were some very difficult decisions to make, and I want to send a special appreciation to the people who were actually unable to then make it to this conference, um, which, as we've talked about, is very sad. But um, a special thank you to them for putting in the work um, on the scholarship committee. Similarly, our program committee who helped evaluate all of the program sessions and suggest ways we could combine sessions to make them even more fruitful and interesting and looking for trends across different countries. Um, I look forward to seeing all of your sessions on the streams, which I intend to watch later because I was very rarely in rooms during the conference. One of the sad parts of um, attending or running an event like this is you very rarely see the program. The things I did see were all wonderful. I trust the rest were too. Um, special thank you as well to our streaming team who did an excellent job getting all of these up on YouTube. so that we can all watch them later for the sessions we were unable to be in and for the people who are physically unable to be here could at least um, participate in learning from the sessions. So thank you. And then my fellow members of the organizing committee, um, we met every week for the last, I think, six months um, through holidays. I personally definitely did it on vacation one time. I think I was not the only one. Um, many of us uh, have put in hours and hours and hours in making this conference possible. So um, Joao, Bukola, Silesh, Susanna, Philip, and Zico, thank you so much for, yeah, come on up. We're all in the picture, but you can see us again. Silesh and I were awkwardly squatting in this photo, and so we will not recreate that part. I cropped it effectively in this so it doesn't look as bad. Okay, and then my final thanks go to all of you for attending. Um, this conference is only as good as the sessions that are delivered here, the questions that people ask, the people willingness to have hallway conversations and lunch conversations and talk through the interesting and the difficult and the challenges and the amazing parts of this. And I think this was an exceptional conference. I'm sure you all heard me yell at you at one point to get into a session. Um, and that was because there were so many wonderful hallway conversations going on. I hope you continue those conversations after the close of this um, session as well. Shani, do you want to do two seconds here? Okay. Sure. Here, wait, wait, wait. Let me find a mic. Thank you. I will not repeat all the thank you. You know that I'm thanking everyone, but I wanted actually to uh, echo Liana and thank each and every one of you because I think you are ambassadors now of what happened here. And when you go back to your local context, it's, it's like you said, it's upon you to carry this on and take that enthusiasm back to your day, day to day. And I think um, if something that made me happy throughout this weekend is seeing people who came in feeling not part of the community, right? Doing their own thing, but feeling outside. How many of you felt like that? Raise your hands if you, if you have felt, you know, doing your own thing, but not really connected to. Yeah, don't be shy. At least a few. Um, and I, I've heard specifically from some of these folks that now they feel part of the community. So well done to us for, you know, making this family bigger and just making it a stronger tide and something that can help us move forward. So I, I live happy and um, optimistic about the future and that's all thanks to you. So thank you. Oh, I think that we thought thank this trust and safety.
Oh my gosh! No, we didn't. I, I just want to yes, acknowledge thank Justin's you. safety team if you could stand up. Doing that Philip Silas. invaluable work. Thank you and honor. <laughs> thank you. Philip should have thought of that when we were creating the slides at lunch. <laughs> yeah, my fault. Okay, so two more pieces of feedback that we would like to request from you, and then you are dismissed to venture out into the world. The first one, we have a flip chart paper that's up in the hallway right by the registration table. If you'd like to leave a note for the conference organizing team, we'd love to, to hear your thoughts on there. And then specifically, ideally before you leave this room, um, there is a post-conference survey, and if you walk out the door without out taking the post-conference survey, I need you to promise that you will take it later and then actually do it. Um, Ivana is going to also send a link to this around um, on the email group and on Telegram so that you can access it there or here's the QR code or there's a short link there. Um, there is a Google form. We expect it to take about 10 minutes. So. Um, Please make sure you spend the time to give us feedback on the venue, on the program, on your experiences here so that we can make the next EduWiki conference, um, which several of you have asked me about and volunteered your um, countries to host. And I believe I have told all of you I am not ready to think about the next one yet. Give me a month to recover from this one. Um, but we, will, we are interested, certainly, in having this conference again at some point in the future. Um, so... Uh, Yes, France. Uh oh. Oh, yes, please scroll. It might, despite us putting a QR code. Yeah. You can scroll on your phone to, to reach. Yes, and it's not. Sadly. It's not uh, perfect for mobile views, but. I think you'll get a hang of it. If you promise to do it on your laptop later, you can also do it on your laptop later. But I would strongly encourage you to offer your feedback. I did it on mobile, so it can be done. <laughs> OK, thank you, Philip. <laughs> and with that, I will just give a final thank you to everyone. <laughs>